Hey, welcome back everybody. Pack opening edit. <clears throat> we are back with a, another battle for the patrons. Uh, we are going to do an ultimate master's box. Everybody, there's four parts of spits. They're going to get six packs each. Whoever has the highest casting cost total among all their rares and mythics in their six packs. Uh, hold on, I don't even have a piece of paper to write it all down on. I need to pause for a second. Oof. Hold on. Absolute amateur hour over here, folks. That's all it is. Um, since I already hit the seal, I couldn't just delete it and restart. So I had to go grab some, you know, paper so I can keep track of the casting calls. Anyway, let's get back to the beginning. So yeah, among all their rares and mythics out of their six packs, whoever has the highest amount, total amount of casting costs will win the sweet, sweet box topper. And whoever has the lowest among all of their rares and mythics is going to win a Modern Horizons 2 collector pack. So, we've got the box up. Got a whole bunch of random packs here. I'm gonna take these out and then do a little shuffle shuffle. A little harder on this last one. Okay. All right, whatever. <clears throat> Good enough. Okay. Cut this in two. There we go. All right. So we got coal. We got six packs for you. The mana burn. Six packs for you. Emery. Six packs for you. And Christopher, six packs for you. All right, we are good to go. Apologize again for that uh, opening pause. Uh, I know it didn't mean anything as a pause, but still. All right. We have a uh, fire and ice foil, whatever. So at least it's a common foil in this set. So we have foil, fire, and ice, and we get into a containment priest. For your first rare. So Cole, this is your first pack. Apologize, didn't say it. I'm too excited in this video, folks. Too excited. Haven't done an Ultimate Masters in a while. Really excited. So Containment Priest for a two. All right, Lava Spike, Urban Evolution, and Swift Reckoning. Now I'm going to go through all the commons. So what we are going to do here is we're going to split this up into three rounds, if it were. So we're going to do two packs and then go down the pipe. And so we got a Plume Veil foil and Raging Ravine coal for your second pack. So that is a zero. Slippery Boggle, Golgari Thug, and Inger, which is a good uncommon pull. So Cole in his first two packs has a great whopping total of two. All right, Man Burn, your first two packs. Uh, so people who are new to the channel, yes. Everybody gets what's in these six packs, meaning that the mana burn, or you get what's in your six packs. And then those prizes are the bonuses for the winners. Fume Splitter Foil and Life from the Loam, which is an awesome rare hit. So that's a two. Hey, Eternal Witness. Man, good green pack. Wild Hunger in Artisan of Kozilek, which is actually kind of cool in its own right. All right, so the mana burn, first pack two. Second pack. <laughs> okay. You get so used to opening packs certain ways, especially with how much Modern Horizons 2 I've been doing, and then you just kind of like shoot through the first bunch of cards, but this one's got the rares and the mythics right in the front. And right off the bat, I'm going to give a massive congratulations to the Man of Burn coming up here in a second. Songs of the Damned Foiled, and we've got freaking Emrakul. The Aeons Torn for a 50. It's going to be hard to beat you for that high at this point. Unstable Mutation, Ghoul Steed, and Reviving Vapors. Whew, that's beef. That's a 17 from your first two packs. All right, Emery, you're up now. These boxes do average three Mythics per box. You can get a fourth, but you can also get a box with two. So, 
Hey, reanimate. Good card. Good pull. Counts as a one. Penumbra Worm, Blast of Genius, and Rise of the Tides to finish out your first pack. Second pack. Ingot Chewer, Pattern of Rebirth, which is always a good card, not like a massive hit, but it is a good card. So that is a four. Heap Doll, Raisin Scourge, and Umburial Rites. So that is a five for Emery in his first two. Christopher, you're up. Spoils of the Vaults, we got our, uh, well, we got the rare uh, foil. Spoils of the Vault for a one. And Seize the Day, which is a cool card. So that is a five in your first pack with a Kitchen Finks that no is not worth $10 anymore. Furnish Celebration and Become Immense. So Christopher with a five in his first pack. Pack number two. Patchwork Gnomes. Disrupting Shoal, so that is a two. Songs of the Damned, Grave Strength, and Rolling Tremblor. So, after the first round, we've got Cole at two, Mana Burn at a 17, Emery at a five, and Christopher at a seven. All right, Cole, your next pack. All right. <clears throat> Cation Crier Foil. Oh, Temporal Manipulation. Cool. You know, it's like that nice mid-level tier mythic. Like, it's not a monster hit, but you don't mind. So that is a five spot, though. Spider, Malevolent Whispers, and uh, the Mahamati. All right, Cole. Second pack of this round. Apprentice Necromancer. Ho! Ho ho! Okay. Well, Platinum Imperion. I've actually never pulled one of those personally out of one of these packs. That is an eight. You might actually compete now with the Mana Burn. Whoa. Okay, that is our third mythic. If I can't even say that word. It doesn't matter. Okay, what is that, an eight? All right, so you're at a 15 now, Cole. Mana Drain, your next pack. Sorry, let me straighten up here. Found myself listing lazily to the left. Back to basics. Cool card, decent hit, that's a three. Ancestor Chosen, Magma, and Golgari Charm. But I cannot block Emerald. That's right, I'll do it after this pack. That's three. All right, your next pack, Mana Burn. Let's see what else we got. I can't believe we pulled three Mythics already. Can there be a fourth? I sure hope so. Four Mythic Box would be awesome. Iguanar and the Grave Troll for a five. Spawning, hey, Buried Alive. And Sigil of the New Dawn. Well, you still have a decent lead, Mana Burn. Okay, Emery, you are up. So I can kind of tell Emery and Christopher are going to be battling it out for the low. Cole and Mana Burn seem to be uh, battling it out for the high. Conviction. And Phyrexian Tower. That is always a good pull. That counts as a zero. So in that whole battle for the low. And your second pack, Emery. Yes, I am hoping we can pull an Ancient Tomb at some point to fit the play mat, although it's different artwork, but that's not the point. Turn into Mist and Vexing Your Devil. If we had, uh, if we had the Rudy uh, Bingo card, you would have gotten... Uh, Two spots on there in these last two packs. All right, Vexing Devil for a one. Misting, sorry, Misvale Plains. Yeah, okay. Wow, so you just opened two packs and got a grand total whopping of a one out of those. 
All right, Christopher, your next two packs. We got a foil, 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 foil. Daybreak Cornet for a two. Chainer's Edict. Okay. Still think unstable mutation being an uncommon in this day and age is kind of funny. Shriek Maw for your foil uncommon. And the Desolate White Lighthouse. Ugh. Ugh. But it does count as a zero. Counter Squall, Plume Veil, and Emancipation Angel. All right, so after the second round, he got Cole at a 15, Man and Burn at a giant 25, Emery currently in the low at a 6, and then we got Christopher at a 9. All right, last packs. Cole, let's see what you got. So you got the zombie, iridescent drake. Fauna Shaman, cool card. That's a 2. One that has not seen the world's worth of reprints. Major Ring Network. Hey, Laboratory Maniac. Good pull. And Rally the Pheasants. Or Peasants. If I could speak properly. Which I couldn't even say that properly. Which goes to show. <clears throat> the answer to that question is no, I can't. Last pack, Cole. Hero of Lenia Tower. And Eldrazi Conscription. So, I don't think you're going to win the high. But man, you gave that a shot. So you got a two out of that previous one, but then an eight out of this one with a solid pull. Shriek Maw, Sleight of Hand, good card, and Buried Alive. A couple of really good uncommons there. So you finish at a 25, Cole. Well, the Mana Burn starts at a 25. So if you pull two zero casting cost or land type things here, we could be looking at a tie, in which uh, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that yet. So let's see what you got. Goro's Vengeance, which pretty much seals the high for you, Mana Burn. Eventual Rebirth, Boneyard Worm, and Phalanx Leader. All right, your second pack. Yeah, pulling Emrakul is just, that's beef. Seriously, that's, that's hard to not win. Oh, we did get a fourth. Oh, Jesus, we did. We got a fourth uh, Mythic. We got Dark Depths. Man, you uh, <laughs> you were really close to kind of just having lands and zero casting cost stuff there. Okay, Dark Depths. Nice, four Mythic Box. Hey, Rogue's Passage. All right, Emery. He's currently in the low. We got your two packs left. Monkey Yield. We got Engineered Explosives, which is an awesome hit for a zero. Firewing Phoenix, Prismatic Lens, Spirit Cairn. And your second pack, Emery. Yes, that was me writing down the zero. Just keeping track of all the rounds, if you will. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Emery. <laughs> well, you're, I, I doubt you're mad if you don't get the low now. <laughs> uh, that is a foil Ulamog. Oh, geez, that's a beef. That is beef. Whew. Congratulations. Oh my god, there was a foil mythic in this box. Holy crap. That's, that's outstanding. Man, so this is a four regular mythic and a, five, and a fifth mythic in an Ultimate Masters box. That is... And a Visions of Beyond. Good pack. So that's a 12. Wow. Okay, well, Emery. Um... You now have an 18. Um, Christopher, you're at a 9. Okay, and you still got two packs left. So. Sheesh. Alright, 
Foil Treasure Cruise. All is dust! What is happening here? Oh man, we're getting all we're getting all the massive. That's a seven. Fiend Hunter, Young Pyromancer, and Reviving Vapors. Alright, well, Christopher, you're not a 16. Emery's at an 18. Okay. Here we go, folks. Walker of the Grove. Oh my god, Rudy's brother's showing up. He is the worst. He's the worst. I, I mean, in, in terms of this point in the battle. That's a six. That is a six, Christopher. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do a little second second uh, check here. That's a twenty-two. This is an 18. Whoa! Emery, dude, you, you pulled the foil Ulamog and you still won the low. Christopher, I'm so sorry, man. Oh, that was... Task... Oh, Rudy's brother just shows up and always screws over everything. That's what he does. That's what he does best. Well, uh, with that, so we got a Cole, finished at a 25. The Mana Burn, finished at a 27 and wins the Box Topper. Emery was at an 18 and pulled the Modern Horizon Collector Pack. And Christopher was at a 22. Oh, man, that was... Okay, well, Emery, let's see what you got, sir. We're going to pop this uh, blister pack open. I guess you can call this a blister pack at this point. A curve probably on the commons so let's let's go through these hey okay foil counter spell decent start better bone awesome island yeah it does seem to be the commons and uncommons so you're gonna start with cart the lion it's extended bloodhound general ferris rock a rick prophetic titan Galvanic Relay, all right, then we're going to get into a Foil Etched Goodest Boy. Now we're going to get into the Foil Etched Rare or Mythic Curse Totem. And into the Foil Rare or Mythic. And we have an Old Bordered. We have Chainer, Nightmare Adept. Well, got some playables. <laughs> oh, jeez. And Ulamog. Good God. Okay, Mana Burn, it's time. Whew. These, these are, these are the thing. And box stoppers, we're still box stoppers. Okay. So I've got enough slack here. I do. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Mana burn. Let's see what you got. Hey, all right. Not while a monster hit. It is a, it is an extended art. Life from the Loam Foil, which is actually pretty cool. So, hey, you'll take that, right? I'd take that. That's cool. Especially in a five mythic box. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that is the video. Thanks to everybody for playing. Um, that, was a, that was an exciting box overall. Um, you know, unfortunately, Christopher, yeah, you were... Yeah, Rudy's, just blame it on Rudy's brother. Just, it is. It's what he does. It's what he does. Um, everybody, else, you know, everybody, though, please enjoy what you have. As far as uh, everybody else thing goes, thanks for watching. If you want to get in on any of these uh, battles, please check out my Patreon down in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. All right, bye.